Hey Chris, did you take that picture with your iPhone 4S camera? Many of you have asked this when I've posted these photos to my Facebook account, facebook.com slash chrisperillo. You can subscribe to me there now. And then of course, uh, the Google Plus account. I've been sharing photos there as well. Uh, some really nice images here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's the time of year where leaves are changing colors and falling off of trees. Uh, actually, I shot this uh, about a week ago, and already uh, these trees have been flooded with red, and I hope to go back to this location tomorrow. This image, this image uh, as well, was taken with the iPhone uh, 4S. Uh, the colors are very vibrant. It may be very difficult for you to discern uh, the detail level of these images uh, and just how sharp these images are, uh, you can, of course, uh, subscribe to my Flickr feed, Google+, Facebook, and beyond. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you a, a rundown as we, if I remember my keyboard shortcuts, uh, kind of explain some of the bigger differences uh, between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone uh, 4. This is a shot here uh, close to our neighborhood. Again, the trees uh, this time of year are just absolutely just beautiful. Uh, and the detail level that I'm able to, uh, to pull out of nature, uh, thanks to the camera on the iPhone 4S, is certainly, uh, I would say, it surpasses uh, the iPhone 4. And I'll, I'll show you why in, in just a, a, a few minutes. So hopefully, well, sooner than that, if I flip through, I'm kind of going through them really quick, showing you just some of the, the more vibrant scenes that I've been able to capture. Not at full resolution. That's full resolution. Uh, and you can see the details in some of the leaves if you zoom in on this video and you're watching that video in full resolution. Uh, so let's go up. Don't worry, I'm getting there. I just want to show you that it's beautiful this time of year. If you don't think this is beautiful, there is something seriously wrong with you. Ugh. This is where I live, in Seattle. Ugh, just so beautiful. I mean, come on, dude. What, what are you going to take pictures of, right? What else? Other than nature. So, let's go ahead and show you some of the bigger differences between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. Here again is another shot. This is a, a view out of our, uh, just off our back porch. This picture was taken with the 4S, and this one is with the 4. Now, you may not be able to discern some of the, the, the bigger differences between the two, specifically in this uh, camera, because it's calibrated to a different color at this point in time. Uh, in the iPhone 4, there's less uniformity in the color, specifically the sky. On the left side, it's this purplish hue. This uh, image, again, taken with the iPhone 4, uh, I get a purplish hue, so not a very uh, uniform color versus a uniform color across the board, more uniformity in the iPhone 4S. I mean, let's put uh, the resolution aside because, quite frankly, I don't care how many megapixels you have. If the pictures suck, they can suck at any megapixel. Uh, this uh, is a, an, another dramatic difference between the 4S and the 4. Uh, I focused in on the foreground, kind of ignoring the background, and in the iPhone 4S, it was able to pull out more details in the background, the cloud, uh, the clouds in the background, even with a, a largely blue sky, versus the 4, which kind of just munged the detail. It's just this white blob in the, the, the backdrop versus a more detailed... Let's see if I can get in a little closer there. Uh, if I can zoom in... Can you... I think you can tell there's a bit more definition in the clouds there uh, versus uh, this one, which is just this white blah. So uh, there's one uh, a, a bigger difference between uh, the 4 and the 4S. This image oh, is the 4, this is the 4S. And the differences between the two, here we've got this hot pink color, uh, this painting by Justin Hillgrove. Here it's a more muted pink, and this is actually closer uh, to uh, the true color of the painting. Uh, just bathed in natural light, as you see a little reflection there as it, the sun's coming. It, I don't know if the sun was really shining that day, but it's bouncing in. Uh, more natural color with uh, the details of the painting uh, versus this. And, and the colors, as it was true for every image that I took with the 4, the iPhone 4, the colors tended to be a bit more saturated. Here's a, a familiar view. The 4S and the 4. Look at the color here in the curtains. The 4S... And the four, and I think as, if I'm looking in the preview the right way, the four is saturating, oversaturating every color versus the 4S. It's a much more muted color, but really closer to a truer color than anything. Uh, and I would say in, in this particular example, I also want to point out that I had issues, as much issues with the four as I did the 4S of blurry photos, whether I was taking them indoors with plenty of light or outdoors with plenty of light. 
uh, they would seem to blur at times, which is a frustration. And the only way I found around that is to use the ClearCam uh, photo app. Uh, it basically takes a series of six shots and then only keeps the most uh, clear photo out of the bunch. And so that way, instead of taking seven photos hoping you got one clear, you just need to shoot and it takes it once. Or it takes... Hang on, let me just demonstrate it for you. It'll be easier to do this way. I uh, should have just done this in the first place. Clear cam. I hit that. I pointed it. It just kind of clicked that. So it takes those images, looks at the most clear one, and then saves that image to your camera roll. So then I don't... There we go. So it's saved. So I got the clearest image out of the whole bunch instead of having to take it seven times. So uh, oversaturated uh, versus something that was closer to, I would say, the truer color. But again, I had I issues in uh, getting a clear image on the uh, uh, the 4S, uh, comparatively uh, speaking. So that that's still a frustration with a lot of I would a lot of cameras. Whether we're talking about these types of point and shoots. Uh, a traditional point-and-shoot camera or a camera phone. I've yet to find a really good camera phone uh, or smartphone with a camera on it that can take clear pictures right away uh, without any kind of uh, blur, really. That, that to me, destroys a photo. Uh, some low-light differences between the 4S and the 4. Uh, of course, you're going to see noise uh, in just about any type of uh, picture that comes out of uh, a, a phone, uh, you know, whether it's super high quality or not, I mean, you've got a certain amount of light, and when you can't get enough light to that sensor, you're going to introduce digital noise. So, uh, but that being said, between the two, the 4 and the 4S, you may not be able to discern, uh, but the details were sharper in the 4S versus the 4. Uh, I would also go as far as to say that the 4 has produced like these bands, these, uh, and this is going to be extremely difficult to, to point out, but there's these stripes of uh, information for some reason that came out in the, the low light uh, with the picture taken with the 4, you know, I would say potentially consistently, uh, versus the 4S, which produced a better image in low light. Now, the starkest differences uh, between, or the contrast really, between the, uh, the 4S here and the 4. You can tell. I know you can tell in this video. The 4, the 4S. 4, 4S. Four Many of you had pointed out uh, this particular uh, difference, dramatic difference, uh, with the video sample that I recorded and uploaded about a week ago. The 4 tends to make things blue. Some people say, no, well, the 4S makes things yellow. Well, maybe it skews more yellow, but it's closer to a truer color. Uh, certainly this was not, none of these photos that I'm showing you here have been retouched, at least the comparison photos. Uh, this is, I would say, pretty sharp. Uh, this is true green, true yellow, uh, versus, on the 4S versus a bluish green on the 4. So yeah, you've seen that the 4 camera sucks. There you go. I said it. Are you happy? It's not perfect. Still always going to be looking for a better product. Uh, so uh, there's a, a big difference between the 4 and the 4S. Uh, here's a close-up shot of the Lego home office. I would say, again, lower light, less saturation, uh, finer, uh, I guess, uh, collection of detail in the, in the Lego studs. Uh, didn't really get, a, a, I would say, a truly perfect image here in terms of focus, uh, but I would say this is a pretty representative of what you would see whether you can perceive it in, in the video here or not, uh, the saturation or oversaturation in the 4 versus a, a better or truer color uh, in uh, the uh, 4S. An outdoor shot, again, the 4, uh, this is a green, there's Wicket down there, it, it, does, it, does green, it does look green, but it tends to be a more saturated green. Uh, this is, on the 4S, uh, more of a... a, a truer to life green and the bigger difference between the two i talk about how the iphone 4 tends to over blue things um the rocks here uh, that have you know i guess some bluish tones to them uh seem to be more gray speckled gray versus blue uh and everything kind of having this blue hue to it in the 4 versus the 4s a shot of our backyard there so pretty uh, dramatic differences between the two the 4s is here Muted colors, uh, oversaturation uh, with the 4. Also had uh, an easier time getting a clear shot with the 
4S than I did with the 4 outside. Uh, some people had remarked, well, it looks like in the video sample that I, I shot, looks like the 4S sucks at um, macro shots, and that's actually not true. You can actually get closer uh, depth of field um, or, uh, in, the, in the 4S than you can with the 4, it's just you always have to refocus. So the 4S does take better macro shots than the 4. It's just I didn't illustrate that because I didn't refocus as I should have done uh, with the video as I was recording the video. It was just taking a focused, a fixed uh, focal point on uh, uh, the, the, the video recording with the sample uh, that I did. So uh, there you go, uh, kind of a rundown. Uh, you, you, for the most part, you've seen that uh, the image quality on the 4S is better than the 4. Uh, and it's true. That's what I've seen every step of the way. I'm very glad that during uh, this fall period that I've had the 4S because I've been able to, to snap some pretty amazing photos if I can get all the way back down there again. Uh, just beautiful shots. And I don't know if it, it ever gets this way uh, where you live, but uh, I tell you, I love the Pacific Northwest. All these shots were taken with the, uh, the uh, iPhone uh, 4S. And if you want to see the uh, full view of any one of them, I've got, I mean, the detail that I've been able to you know, pull out here is pretty, pretty astounding. Uh, you know, all the way down to, if I can zoom in the right way, there we go, all the way down to water droplets on the leaves. These, this, I didn't touch up this photo at all. This is the way the color was. A lot of Canadians like this photo in particular. Go Canada! So there you go, my experience. Uh, you, yours may have been the same or different, I don't know. Uh, thank you for liking this video, or at least, uh, you know, my attempt to better illustrate the differences uh, in the quality that you can uh, come to expect from an iPhone 4S camera as well as a little tip, I, hopefully a couple tips I threw in there for you. You can follow me all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and beyond. Subscribe to LockerDome.com for all the latest tech information. And then, of course, uh, we also have uh, the chat room, part of a live video feed, streaming out over the web 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.